my name is Nyla Liate, and welcome back to my long-term survival world. I am here at the trail ruin that I found at the end of last episode, because today I am going to finish digging this thing out. There's still so much of the structure to uncover, and so much more suspicious gravel to find. And after I dig out the rest of this structure, I will of course show you everything I found, but then I want to find more new 1.20 items. I want to get as many of those armor trims as I can possibly find. So far, I only have two, and there's a lot more than two. So let's begin digging out the rest of this trail ruin. Alright, so I have been digging this out for about 15 minutes now, and I have made a little bit of progress. I left most of the suspicious gravel that I found behind so that I can dig them out with you on camera. But first, I need to empty out my inventory. I have quite a lot of stone. I should probably separate the regular blocks I'm getting from this from the loot drops I'm getting. Now let's go down here and dig up the suspicious gravel that I left behind. Here's a piece right here. I got a pottery sherd. That is the heart pottery sherd. I don't think I have this one yet, so that's pretty cool. What's in this one? A candle. Interesting. There's just a wooden hoe in that one. Is there any more suspicious gravel? There's a piece over here. There's just some yellow dye in there. There's a lot of weird items in these trail ruin structures. Alright, I guess I'm going to continue digging this out.
Okay, so I've been digging for about another 15 minutes now, and I thought this is the perfect time to stop and show you all of the loot that I've got so far. I've made quite a bit of progress so far digging this out, but I'm pretty sure there's still a lot more to go. I have three different shulker boxes here. This one is completely full of stone and dirt and gravel. And this one is just starting to fill up. This one right here contains all of the loot that I have gotten so far from the suspicious gravel. I have all four of the armor trims that are available here at the trail ruins, which is super cool. Later, I will have to use some diamonds to duplicate these so that I have more of them. And I might have to go on another mining trip sometime in the future. Every time I want to duplicate one of these armor trims, I'm going to need seven diamonds. So I'm going to need a lot of diamonds. I have three of these pottery shirts so far. I've got the friend, howl, and heart pottery shirts. There's a whole bunch of other stuff too, but it's not really that great. It's just stuff. Now, this area to me is feeling a little bit cramped and it's really messy. My bed is directly next to the hole that the trail ruin is in. And I just kind of feel like I need more space. So I think I'm going to spend a little bit of time cleaning this up a bit. Since I'm going to be here for a while digging out this trail ruin, I think I'm going to build some sort of shack in this jungle to live in for a while. I think this will be a pretty good opportunity to use the new bamboo wood. I haven't built anything with bamboo wood yet, so this is pretty exciting. I'm pretty far away from home though, and I don't have a nether portal set up here, so... I'm gonna have to spend a little bit of time gathering some materials. Alright, so I have gathered a little bit of jungle wood and oak wood just by clearing out this little area behind me. And I also gathered up all of this bamboo just by going over here to this bamboo forest and swinging my sword around and collecting it all up. So I guess I am going to get to work with all of the materials that I have on hand and build myself a hut. Alright, so I have gone ahead and marked out where I want my stilts to go, which is going to help me mark out the floor and then the actual building. So I'm just going to go up here and start placing down the floor. I think on the corners here, I'm going to continue the bamboo up so it doesn't look so weird. I'm going to go up three blocks for the walls. Looks like this tree might be in the way. I might have to chop it down.
Now I want a little patio going off the front here, so I'm gonna go ahead and add that. All right, perfect, but now I just have to add the roof. And maybe some windows. I'm gonna use jungle wood here for the roof. Actually, before I build the roof, this tree needs to go. It's very much in the way. Now that I'm looking at this from the ground, I haven't even finished the outline of the roof yet, and it looks a little weird having my porch made out of jungle wood and the outline of the roof being made out of jungle wood. I think that fixes it a little bit, and then I don't really like the stairs. I think I'm gonna go with a ladder instead. cannot put a ladder on this side of the trapdoor. Maybe something like that instead. Let's see what it would look like if I were to just use the bamboo block for the roof. And just as I thought as I was picking this block for my roof, I'm probably going to need more bamboo. I only have two of these blocks left and no more bamboo. I might not need to grab more though because that looks ridiculous. Maybe even though the walls are already made out of bamboo planks, I just use bamboo planks for the roof too. Let's see what that looks like. I think I'm also going to make the walls four blocks tall instead of three. Maybe that will help. So I definitely need more bamboo, but this is what I have so far. I think I am going to fill in the roof with bamboo blocks to make it green. I think that'll make this house look pretty cool. Okay, so I've finished the roof of the hut and I came down here to grab some clay so that I can start decorating, but I'm getting a little distracted because there's an ocelot nearby and I need an ocelot to complete the catalog for the cat's advancement. So I'm down here killing fish so that hopefully I can tame the ocelot. I'm gonna grab as many fish as I possibly can because cats can be a little stubborn sometimes. I think there is a trident being thrown at me. Who has a trident? You. Stop it. Hopefully 16 fish is enough. While I'm up here in the skies, I might as well show you the roof complete. It's pretty simple, but I think it looks pretty cute. Alright, where is that ocelot? He was over here when I left. Oh my gosh, there's a baby one. The one I saw wasn't a baby. There it is. Please be my friend. Yay! Oh my gosh. I have a baby ocelot. Wait, you can't tame these? Wait. I can't make him sit. 
I thought that's one of the cats I needed for the advancement, though. Am I just crazy? Yeah, I'm just crazy. I fed a baby ocelot fish for no reason. Alright, so the clay I gathered up is almost done smelting. I also went ahead and grabbed some wool because I think a white bed would look much better than a blue bed in this hut. And I think I'm going to start decorating this place. I'm just going to go ahead and place the bed down right here in this corner. And I think I have some spruce wood in my ender chest. I want to use that for the furniture. Alright, I'm going to put a little bedside table right here. And I think I need to grab some bamboo stairs to cover up that part of the roof. There we go, that looks better. Let's add another little table right here. And I think I'm gonna have to find a spot for some storage here. A little something like that should do. I think I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And there we go, just like that I have storage. Now for some lighting in here, I'm going to use these candles that I found in the trail ruin. We'll put a couple there and one there. And I think I'm also going to put some carpet down on the floor right there. Now I'm going to grab these pottery shirts that I found in the trail ruins and I'm going to make a few pots to place around. There we go, I think that adds a nice bit of detail to the hut. I think I'm going to use some jungle fence gates here for windows. That way I can have the windows open or closed. And I think that looks pretty nice from the outside. And since I just fell into that hole, I should probably add a fence around it. First, I kind of need to clean up this mess though. Okay, now let's place some fences around here. My ladder is right here, so I'm going to leave that open and place some torches there. We're just going to go around it like this. That way there is no way I'm just going to fall in here when I'm walking around the place. I think I'm also going to break some of these torches off of the trees and instead add some tiki torches around the area. Just gonna do something simple like that. There we go, that makes me feel a little bit more safe. It's really dark here in the jungle in the nighttime. Now I just need to add some finishing touches, like maybe a door. And I also found this flower pot and this dead bush while I was digging in the trail ruins, so I might as well place that in here. I also think I'm going to add a little path from the trail ruin to the hut. There was a lot of gravel and coarse dirt in the trail ruin when I was digging it out, so I think I'm going to add some of that to my path. And now, this place desperately needs some foliage. I have a little bit of bone meal here, some of which I got from killing fish and some of which I got from composting various things. I also have some leaves and bamboo. I think it'd be pretty cool to place some of this bamboo around here and just let it grow. And I guess I'm going to place around this bone meal and see what we get.
Just a little bit of tall grass might make this area look better. That looks a whole lot better already. I think I'll put the last bit of bone meal right there. I was also going to add some leaves around, but I don't think I need it. I think the tall grass and a little bit of flowers that I added from that bone meal is just fine. Sometimes less is more. Alright, that is all I have for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and click the bell notification icon so that you never miss when I upload. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye!